I'm so excited. I saw the film and I really, really, really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. Both of them are faced with the dilemma of whether to do what is right versus what is expected. And I just wanted to know your thoughts on directing that particular through line. It was sort of a question to myself. How do I become more more actively engaged? Not just like, okay, I heard it and I, and I, I heard about it, but like, what am I supposed to do? And I think a lot of people don't really know what to do. And I'm just one person. I think that Absolutely. And I also was impressed with the fact that you show us what it's like for a single mom to be left dealing with the aftermath of this situation. It was Philando Castillo pull over and she recorded him getting shot basically by the police. And the young girl screamed in the back asking, why did you just shoot him? Why did you just shoot him? Thinking about like, where is that mom and that daughter right now? I found that very interesting because oftentimes we hear about the crime happening. We hear about nobody getting charged for it or, or getting off for it. And then people forget that there are families attached to these young men. They have a mother or a sister or a daughter or a wife. They have children that have been left behind that now have to deal with this person's absence in their life. I appreciated you doing that because there's been a lot of these films that have come out along this same lane this year. I think that's why. You know, we leave Manny's character and we don't come back to him because nobody remembers him. In real life, people forget the people that put these video games out there. They forget the, the lives and the impact here again. I peeped that too because there's a young man that he got arrested just because he taped what happened to Freddie Gray and they just pulled up some trumped up charges on him and I was like wow really he's just trying to do the right thing and give somebody a voice that didn't have a voice so the film is called Monsters and Men do you think that anyone in a position of power is considered a monster that abuses it? Yeah, that's a good question. That's kind of how part of what came about, is that we all have a little bit of monster in us. Um, mm. If we choose to say something, like which side are we on? It could also be a very powerful thing, you know, negatively or positively. And which side is that? And I think that's sort of the, that duality, which kind of has a title, really presented itself. But yes, I think we all have the ability to be monsters, and we have to choose to not be the kind of choose. I'd like to thank Ronaldo Marcus Green for taking time out of his busy schedule to talk to me about Monsters and Men. It opens in theaters today, September 28th. This is your girl, Carla Renata, a.k.a. The Curvy Film Critic. Until the next time, love, peace, and hair grease.